and even making this argument about King Hezekiah's repentance, there's no historical record of this engagement between Micah and King Hezekiah. And if you read Micah, there's no hint of Micah prophesying and the people of Judah, you know, repenting and there being that point about God changing his mind. You don't get that from the text of Micah. It seems like the author of Jeremiah is at this point conflating Micah with Isaiah and the passage Isaiah 36. And then I think it's, I think it's second Kings, maybe 24 through 26, where you have this story about Isaiah prophesying and it's a very Deuteronomistic story.